All right, everybody, here we go. Community class for month of April. I can't believe it's April already. Okay, let's have your heels in line with your sitting bones. We're gonna stand with the feet parallel, lifting up the center, feeling the energy lifting up away from your gravity. I know we're just gonna, we're just gonna circle the hands, circle the wrists. I'm gonna take it all the way up. That's a bit of a stretching happening today in this class, but there's also some work that we need to do. And then we're gonna go over to the other direction with your wrist. May feel a little awkward. And we're gonna take it all the way down to the floor. And then we're gonna reverse circle the wrist and we go the opposite direction. So we're gonna go both direction here. Try to get the awkward one. All right, and all the way up. And then the other way again, all the way down, right down to the floor. Let's do one more set here. And circle in the other direction, take it all the way up overhead to the sky and then we'll reverse it the other way circling away all the way down to the floor okay now here i want you to elevate your shoulders up and just rise up and then leave it up there take an in breath and exhale drop it thank you and again inhale lifting up squeezing in Exhale, drop them. Two more. Lift up, squeeze in the shoulders, and exhale, drop them. Last one. And lifting them up, and exhale, drop them. Okay, and then we're gonna do some roll down. So softening the knees a little bit, especially those of you who, who just woke up, my European friends. Take a knee breath. It's early in the morning for you. Exhale, let's go and roll the spine down, starting from the crown of the head. And I'm gonna take it to the upper back and lifting the rib cage up to the sky and then the lower back to the sky and scooping deep into your abdominal and then eventually tip the pelvis forward. And you can make it a little bit more gentle for you by bending the knees a little bit more and then folding through the hip as far as you can towards the floor. Take an in breath. Exhale, pressing the earth away as you lift the abdominal muscle up to the back and curling your tail under. We're gonna stack up the spinal column like a Jenga block or like a Lego block and lifting, rising up to the sky. In breath. Exhale, we're gonna roll down from the top of the head and allow those palms to face each other here. And take your pelvis forward. Whatever you can do today, listen to your body. In breath. Exhale, pressing the earth away, lifting up away from the gravity. And then curling the tailbone. And then lengthening the spine, growing tall and taller. And last one, exhale, we're gonna roll down again. Just take this moment, enjoy the stretch, enjoy the massage, no rush. And we fall forward in breath at the bottom. Now as we roll up, we are gonna roll up halfway up only. So we're gonna roll halfway and place your hands on your thigh, bend the knees a little bit more, go into a little squat, and then extend the spine into a flat back. Right there, yeah. And then let's go into your standing cat. So we deep curl into the lower abs and flex the spine. There we go, stretch it. And then inhale, send the pelvis out, send the sternum forward and expand the chest up, arch, again, exhale, deep curl into the lower abs and try to get more flexion, more rounding on the lower spine and the upper spine will follow. And inhale, lengthening through the spine and upper back arching away. See if you can get the bottom lower than the hip here. And again, last two, exhale, curl the tail under. So your bottom stays down though, that guy. So curl the tail towards the knee. My head is quite high here still. And then inhale, lengthen the tailbone out. Arch the upper back. Beautiful. Last one, exhale, curl the tailbone. The bottom is way lower than the head here. That's it. Inhale, extending the back. A bit of a leg workout as well here. 
and then exhale, we round the back here, drop the arms, roll back up, and all the way to standing. Nice and tall. Breathe in again, breathe out, roll down halfway again, and place your hands on your thighs, bend the knees, set the pelvis back into a squat, and extend the back here. And then we open the arms out to the side, Right, and then we're gonna to rotate to your right, bring the left arm through, and then from here, rotate the trunk to the right, extend in the back, so making sure the back stays nice and flat, not rounded here. That's it, and then press against the thigh, press out a little bit more, and find more rotation in the trunk if there's more. That's it, and then release that rotation, go back to your center, other way, other arm across, press against the thigh, and then rotate through the spine, looking up to the sky. It's really crucial that you have the back muscles nice and long and flat here. And then release that, come back to center. Drop the arms down. We're gonna roll down all the way through the floor, and this time place your hands on the floor. Bring your, lift the heels up, bring the knees down to the floor and release the ankle and sit down. Right there. All right, from here. Left arm over your right side of the head. We're gonna do a little neck stretch here. What I want you to do here is press this head against the hands, so going over that direction, and gently press the hands against the head too. So you feel a stretch on the right side of the neck here. Again, just listen to your body. You don't have to do it so hard. Just see what feels good for you today. Inhale, pushing away, pushing the head into your hands, pressing the hands into the head, stretching away, and then release. And then we switch to the other side. So the other arm goes over the head. We're gonna press the head into the hand that way, and press the hands into the head, and then little lateral flexion here. Again, be gentle to your neck. Again, remember, this is the only body you have. You're going to have to look after it. And then inhale, pressing up. And then release that. And then we're going to go the back of the head here. So you press the head into your hands, so pushing back, giving yourself a little double chin here or triple chin, right? Pushing into your hand. And then pushing the hands into your head and stretching the posterior line of the neck. The neck extensors. Just breathe in here and then release. And then we're gonna work the front here, so bring your hands in front of the head here, forehead. You're gonna push forward, like poking your head forward, and then press the hands against the head as well, and just work and stretch that milk flexes. Just keep breathing here, and then let it go. Beautiful, all right, and then we're gonna go into some neck circle over to your right, and then down to forward. To the left, nice and easy, and back. And again, two more, just in breath, circling the head around. Enjoy this. You can keep your eyes open or closed, c'est la vie, I'll leave it up to you. Last one here, and come back to center, and then the other way, over. And just acknowledge which part, is, is there any part in your neck that feels a little tender today? I know, surely now. And see why I was, and myself were having really tight neck this morning. So this is quite lovely to us. And then come back to center. Awesome. All right, everybody, we're gonna face the front of the mat. Here, sitting up nice and tall, hands underneath. Try to crane the thighs up here so you have an active arm with the chest nice and open here and the elbows nice and broad. So it almost feels like your whole rib cage is being suspended up to the sky here. Take an in breath. Exhale, let's go into a seeker by dragging the feet into the belly. We're gonna curl that spine actively and not collapsing into your curve. And then we're gonna roll back already. Get that sacrum rolling to the floor. You can slide the arms towards the bottom here if you like, in breath. Exhale, deep scoop in the abdominal as we take ourselves forward over the pelvis. And then we use our breath to expand the spine up to the sky. And again, we exhale, flexing forward. 
and then rolling back. I thinking of pulling my feet, ooh, I'm moving my mat, pulling my feet into my pelvis as I really sink my lower back onto the floor in breath. Exhale with my, the, way, the help of my arms or not, you're gonna use the abdominal to come forward. We're gonna lift the spine, elongate up. Two more. Exhale, gonna draw into the C curve, pull that fit into your pelvis, and you can really feel the pelvis sinking into the floor, like a little wave crushing into your belly. This action, in breath. Exhale, up forward, forward. Gorgeous, everybody. And an inhale, lifting up. One more. And exhale, rounding it back. And then rolling back rolling back, rolling back, and just stay in that C curve position or chest lift position. If you can, take your arms off to the side, if you can. Extend the left leg forward, flex the foot, deep scoop in the abs still, pull back in. Extend the other leg forward, flex the ankle, and then pull back in, one more each side. Extend the leg, flex the foot, Pull back in, last one, and stretch it out. Pull back in, grab the back of your thigh again, curl up, deep curl, deep curl, deep curl. Good morning, and then lifting up the spine. And next one, we're gonna take all the way to the floor, into that C curve again. You can keep the arms on the thighs or forward. If I leave it up to you, and we're gonna roll back, and then place the arms down to the side, head resting down, walk your feet closer towards your bottom. Okay, so align the heels with the sitting bone here, right? Expand and open the cross the front of your chest and the arms are actively reaching towards the feet. Take an in breath, pelvic curl, and exhale. Again, using the abdominal to imprint the lower back to the floor. And then I'm thinking of curling that pubic bone up to the sky and reaching the pelvis up to the sky, reaching my thigh bone towards my feet, towards my knees, and use the help of my arms to press my back up a little bit more. I wanna find that nice opening across the front of the hips, in breath. Exhale, use the breath to melt down. Vertebra by vertebra, all the way back. And release back to your start position again. Exhaling, deep curl, deep scoop. Curl the pubic bone up to the sky so you can really engage the back of the legs and then reach and open forward towards the knee. Gorgeous line, everybody, in breath. Exhale, lengthening the head away from the shoulder as we gradually move ourselves down, rippling down to the floor. Again, in breath. Exhale, deepening curling up, reaching the pelvis forward to the knee, pressing down with the arms to lift the pelvis and the chest higher, and then we stay. Take the arms up to the sky, float up without moving anything else, take the arms overhead, press it back down to the floor, and keep the arms actively reaching away from the shoulders as we exhale, roll the spine down. Like a human tag of war, we're gonna reach down and reach up at the same time, to enjoy that stretch. Keep the arms overhead again, two more pelvic curl. Rolling up, curling up, reaching forward towards the knees. Inhale, exhale, reaching up with the arms as you lengthen the spine down, articulating down, and release the pelvis at the end. Keep the arms overhead again. Watch the rib catch. make sure the rib catch are lengthening down towards the floor and towards the pelvis. Last one, we roll up forward with the pelvis, upward as well, in breath at the top, enjoy the extra stretch, exhale, melting, 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 brilliant. Okay, bring the legs together, all right, hundreds prep with the legs down on the floor. The arms will float up to the sky. Exhaling, press down. Lifting the chest high. Opening across the front of the chest. Inhale, we float the arms up. And then we return our back down to the floor. 
Again, exhale, the arms flush, press down as we lift. And look into the belly here and see if you can keep the pelvis kind of net, uh, neutral, quiet. We're not squeezing the bottom, but we're squeezing inner thighs. The arms float up and then the back comes down. Again, exhale, press down. We reach, we lift, we lift up even more. Inhale, we lift arms up and then come back down. Now this time, as we lift up, bring the right leg up to tabletop. So exhale, we'll lift right leg, come up to tabletop. That's it. Inhale, lower the leg and the chest down at the same time. And then the left leg will come up next. Exhale, press down, lift. That's it. Inhale, lower down. Keep the abdominal connected, one which side. Exhale, press down, lift. Inhale, lower, and arms overhead. Last one. Exhale, press down, lift. That's it, everybody. Inhale, lower, and bring it over. Hold the arms there. Keep the ribs connecting to your pelvis. We're going to lift one leg up to tabletop. Load the belly down towards the floor and a second leg up without jolting the belly up. Beautiful. Open the arms up to the T position. Spine twist supine to me first. As we inhale, we rotate. Exhale, come back to the middle. Over to you as we inhale. Exhale, come back to center. Rotate to me, inhale, feel the weight of the gravity in your center and use that to return the legs back down to the middle. And over to the other side, again, feel the gravity pulling down and use that to bring the legs back to the middle. One more each side, we twist. And an exhale, come back. I want you to control the movement though. Do not let the gravity take the weight of the leg down. You need to control and then come back to center and stay. Bring your arms overhead again. So same thing, but we're losing the base here. Oh, we are actually making it more challenging for ourselves. Over to the right again as we inhale. And then exhale, we come back to center. So we talk about control. If you don't control, it's gonna end up splaying the leg down on the floor and then come back to center. Two more each side, inhale with toes. That's it, exhale, center. Again, keep reaching the rib cage down to the pelvis here. And exhale, one more each side, in breath. And exhale, last one, in breath. And exhale, awesome. Lower one foot down, second leg down, stretching the legs long on the floor, that's it. Turn the palms facing each other, ready for the roll-ups here. You can do this with bent knee if you wish to. The arms float up and into a chest lift. We're gonna pull the legs into abdominal and round ourselves forward into that C curve here. So I want the back muscle to be active. I want the head to be pressing back a little bit here. Take an in breath. Exhale, we send the pelvis back. We melt the pelvis to the floor and then we take the arms overhead. Let's go two more, a little bit faster. Inhale, we'll lift. Exhale, deep curl. Up and over, up and over, arms parallel to the ground. Here, guys, make sure, one moment here, everybody, make sure that we are not collapsing down to the floor, but I want the abs to work. I want the back muscle to be active, and I want the arm muscle to be active, and nothing kind of flopping down to the floor. Pull away from the gravity, that's it. And then we rotate the pelvis back, squeezing the legs, pulling the inner thighs towards the spine, and then take the arms overhead. Again, inhale into the chest lift, and then pulling back into the spine and come up and over, up and over, resist, resist the gravity, resist the gravity. That's it, in breath. Exhale, roll back. Here's an imagery. Imagine you're carrying a 10 kilo ball in front of you here, right? So we wanna make sure you carry the ball in your arms. Up as you inhale, carry the ball, and then lift up. You got this big heavy ball in front of you. 
pull it into your abs, pull it into your abs. That's better. And then we roll back again. I did say two more times before, but this is probably your last one. <laughs> We're doing more than two. Inhale, we lift. This is the last one, I promise. And then come up and over. Carry that ball, guys. Squeeze the leg. Don't let the legs fly away. Squeeze the legs. When it gets tougher, squeeze it even more. Thank you. And then lift the back. Awesome. All right, and take your hands behind you. Bend the knees. And lined the heels with the sit bone, some sitting hip rolls here. So we're going over to the right. You can rotate the head opposite direction, back to the center. And then over to the other side. And then come back to center. Inhale. I want the back muscle to be active though, but I'm not, I don't want it to be hanging this way here. And come back, push off the floor and come back. And Rotate, but keep that chest present. Thank you, and come back. Again, one more, keep the back muscles pushing away. Keep the hands pushing away from the floor, the back muscles active, and come back to center. Last one, we drop. All right, and come back to center. All right, now, bring the legs together again, take the arms forward, round back, Roll back, we've got a hundreds, the hundreds coming after this, everybody. Take your arms overhead, palms facing up here. Now, leg up one to tabletop. Second leg up to tabletop. The first 50 will be at tabletop. The next 50, we're gonna try to make it towards teaser prep position. So just follow me, take an in breath. And exhale, we lift up. We stay tabletop here. Inhale, maybe can we lift a little higher? And exhale, we pump. Shh, 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 shh. And inhale. And shh, 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 shh. Shh, 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 shh. On four here. Shh, 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 shh. On five. Shh. Now, keep pumping on the exhale. Shh, shh, shh. As we inhale, I want you to lift up the chest, roll it up, roll it up, roll it up, roll it up to that teaser prep. Something like that. And exhale, we roll it down, curling, curling, kind of five counts. Stay in chest lift. Inhale, we lift again, up, 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 extend, exhale, down. Pull the abdominal wave from the legs. That's it, inhale, lifting up, two, three, four, five, and an exhale down, two, three, four, five. Last set here, and an up, two, three, four, five. Exhale down, two, three, four, five. Well done. Pull the knees in, grab the knees, and release the head and the chest down. That's it, well done, okay. Let's go lower one foot down again, second leg down. All right, extend the left leg on the floor, right leg up to tabletop. Extend the right leg straight up to the sky, dorsiflex the foot here. Let's go for your leg circle. We go across the body, inhale, stay parallel. Exhale, and keep the pelvis grounded as you circle the leg away. In breath, and exhale, last set and change, other way, in breath. Trying to make the circle rather smooth here and stable in the pelvis at all times. Last one, in breath, and exhale, stay whole. Grab the back of your thigh. Right, pull the leg closer towards you. That's it, feel the stretch at the back of the legs. We wanna plant the pelvis down and actively reach the heels away. It can be really intense here. If you want, you can also reach to the calf area and then pull a little bit more towards you. All the ankles, all the toes, whatever is available to you today. And I'm breathing in. Last breath out, pull a bit more. I'm gonna keep the quadriceps working, so stretch the knee and release the leg. We bend the knee, we lower the foot down, we bring the other leg in first and stretch the right leg down, and then we lift the left leg up. 
Good job. And extend. We dorsiflex. We plant the thigh bone down towards the floor. And let's go across the ball. The inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Yeah, we're using a bit of that gravity to drop and catch it. So gravity and then resist it. And drop and catch it. Last set. In breath. And then exhale. We stay. And then reverse. Out and up. In breath. One round. Two more sets. Last set. We stay, grab the back of your thigh. We pull the leg to the floor. As you pull, I'm also trying to anchor my thigh bone towards the pelvis and actively reach my heel and my quadriceps, the muscle in front of my thighs, trying to straighten the knee as much as I can. So we stay here and then if you wish, you can Crip your hands a little closer towards the heels to intensify your stretch. I'll leave it to you how far you want to go today. Breath out, it should be rather comfortable yet slightly challenging. And again, breath out. We try to bring the leg closer towards you, but keep the bottom anchor down, nice and heavy, heavy, heavier, and then bring it up. We bend the knee, we take it down, we stretch the leg long again, and just take a moment to feel the blood flow in front of the hips here and feel the difference in your legs at the moment. Right, let's go to run the roll-ups, arms overhead. Remember that 10 kilo balls that you're carrying in. We're gonna really try to lengthen the rib cage down here. We inhale, lifting the chest up, nice and high. Carry the ball here. Exhale, pull back in abdominal, come up and over. Defy gravity, everybody. Do not let the gravity collapse your spine. Brilliant, and then lift the spine back up. Bring the feet into a diamond position. Hands behind the head, right? Now from here, we rotate towards me. Pelvis anchored, and then side bend over towards the knee. So elbow to the knee. And then we bring it back up again. And middle. We rotate away from me, and then elbow to the knee. Now, that's it. And then bring ourselves back up. Oh, we're not going across the and center. Rotate to me. So we do same side, same elbow. So I left elbow, left knee, and then bring it back up and center. Rotate, left, right elbow, right knee. So don't go across, same side. That's it. And then bring it up and then center. And we rotate. Anchor the sitting bone as we stretch over to one side. And then bring it back up and center. And then rotate and elbow over. That's it. And bring it back up and then center. Last set, twist. And again, defy gravity. We do not want to collapse down. And then bring it back up and center. We rotate, lifting up and over. That's why I'm trying to think in my head. And lifting back up and center legs together grab the shin just above the ankles ready for our rolling like a ball so we're going to bring the feet closer towards your bottom see why shoulders we talked about this morning so we can implement that now we take the feet off floating right the further the closer the feet to your bottom the more challenging it is for your spine to do a c curve so i'll leave it up to you but i want you to lock the shape we're going to round the back and let's go roll back use the abdominal to come up yeah inhale back exhale press forward yes in breath exhale and in breath exhale lift the lower abs to your pelvis as you come forward last one in breath exhale Good job. And lower the feet down, stretch the legs away. Open up as well as the shoulder for our spine stretch. Okay, so my feet are actively grounding to the floor and I'm thinking about pulling the socks all the way or tight. 
lats, all the way to my pelvis to activate my legs so I can really connect to my pelvic floor here. That's it. Right, if you're in a sand, there should be, your, your heel should be sinking into the sand because you're digging down. Then breathe out. We roll down with grace all the way forward. And then here, I want you to grab the ankles. We're going to expand the back here into a flat back. Active back here. Stick the booty out. Stick the stem forward and lengthen the spine. And then release the arms forward in front of you again. We round the spine and then we roll back to the upright position. Nice. Exhale, we roll down. And then grab the ankles, lengthen the sitting bone back as you lengthen the crown of the head in opposite direction. Engage the back muscles, lift them there, take the arms forward. And then we roll back and we come back up. Two more. Exhale, we roll down, grabbing the ankles. Inhale. Pulling the pelvis back, extending the chest forward and up. And the arms float forward, the back still working there. And then we round the spine, we roll back up. And last one, we roll down and forward. Grab the ankles, lengthen the spine, and we stay here. Now, we hold this position. We're trying to analyze this a little bit. Thinking about open leg rocker. This is your open leg rocker positioned, right? You want to have the back muscles reaching and active, the arm muscle actively anchoring to the side of your armpit and the rib cage, and your quads, your legs muscles are nice and working here. Now see so if you can maintain that spine for your open leg rocker later. Take the arms forward here. And then rolling down and rolling up and bring it up. All right, let's do that. While still fresh in here, grab the ankles. Grab the ankles. Now right, we're gonna do straight to your traditional straight legs. So you're welcome to go into a bent knee position if you wish. And we're gonna straighten the legs. We're gonna mimic what we had before. Your muscle, your leg muscles are active. We plant the elbows to the elbows, the armpit down to the side. Expanding the chest. Wow, just look at you. You're there. Let's go. We round the back, pushing the legs away, lifting up. Use the back muscle to lift, 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 lift. That's it. And again, rounding the back and then reaching the legs away and lifting right up. Ah, beautiful. We round. And again, arms are active. Back muscles are active. Oh, gorgeous. Again, two more. And then forward, lifting up, reaching up, elongating up. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. Last one. And then forward with the legs, lifting the back, lifting the back, squeezing the quads. Quads, 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 stretch the knee, quads. That's it. Legs together. Wow. Bend the knees. And Wow, guys, that was beautiful. Amazing. That was gorgeous. Amazing. All right, let's take it again. We're going to go down. We're going to roll down, roll down, roll down. Chest lift, stay. Tabletop, one. Tabletop, two. Hands on the knees. Bend the elbows. Curl the chest higher. Make sure your pelvis is grounding down to the floor, not curling up. Double leg stretch here. Inhale. Exhale, drag the arms and the legs. Inhale, exhale, three more. Exhale, two here. Exhale, last here. Exhale, I light. One more and stay, hold open here. Now let's rotate towards me in that boomerang position and we balance on the side. And then we bring your legs back again, rotate to the center. And then rotate to the other side in that boomerang position and to your side. Yeah. And then we bring it back again. Let's do one more each side. And then we roll over to one side. Off my mat. Ooh, that hurts my hip. And then bring it back. 
And over to the other side, I hope you're still on your mat because the floor hurts my hip. <laughs> Thank you. And then bring it back again. And then drag everything in. Lift the chest a little higher. And then release. Down. Down. Wow. One leg down. Good job. Second leg down. Arms long by the side. All right. Align the heels with a sitting bone. One pelvic curl. And then we go to shoulder bridge prep. Breathe in. Exhale, deep curl, deep flex, and just recognize how your pelvis is feeling right now compared to the first pelvic curl that we did today. In breath, exhale, roll down, and then we're going to come up again, in breath, exhale, roll up, and then we press up. Press high, we stay. Press the left foot down, squeeze the left bottom up. The right leg comes up to tabletop. And then we lower down, we tap. We exhale, we tap. We exhale. We try not to wobble our pelvis. We feel the both of the pelvis, both of the pelvis, both the glutes lifting up to the sky. We only have one pelvis, but two sets of bottom. One set of bottom. I'm not talking properly. And then bring it up. One more time, and bring it up. Take the foot down first. We hold, readjust the pelvis. So lift the bottom up, and then press the right foot down, and then the left leg will float effortlessly. And we lower tap. We lift it up, and tap, and lift it up. See if you can find a way for easiness and lifting and lowering the legs in hip flexion and hip extension. And two more, and up, and last one, and up, we take the foot down. Now reestablish the pelvis, press up a little bit more, take an in breath, exhale, we come right down, 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 all right. We lengthen the leg closer to me on the floor, and the arm overhead, and then rotate your body to me, and then we're going to come up onto our forearm for our side kick series. Okay, crane the bottom rib cage up. Right, yep, you're welcome to do this triangle pose as well if you want to. We're gonna do this one today. Shalina and CY, this is exactly what we did today. Take it up, push away off the floor, push, push, and then we go flex, exhale. Inhale, and use this top hand to lengthen the spine away so we do not sink to the floor. And reach long, long, and reach long, long. Three more, and two, and last, and back, we hold. This top hand will come down. If you have the triangle pose, adjust yourself to this position. Both forearm down. Now I want you to rotate the body this way. Now use the bottom foot. I'm flicking it. Use that. I want you to push down in the hand and lift the hip up. Magic. That's it. And lower. And we don't sing. Oh, no, we do not collapse. And then we press up with grace, that's it, and we go down, and then again, we press up, and we go down, the top leg is behind you here, and then we go up, we go down, one more, and we go up, that's it, we go down, we stay down, we reach the top arm forward, we lengthen ourselves away, and lift the back leg up for six, five, four, three, two, one, and bring the legs together. All right, and then we're still lifting. From the underneath side, we bend the knee. All right, Shulina and CY, we know what's gonna happen, right? We did it this morning. So, this is our teaser prep with twist. We're going to rotate ourselves, 
lift up, press there. Ah, beautiful. Thank you. And then effortlessly, we're going to rotate back and expand. Yeah. Uh oh, we do not want to sing like this, everybody. Not in my book. Push, 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 push. All right, and then again, rotate. If you sink, you make the work a lot heavier for yourself. That's it. And rotate. Defy gravity. Do not let the gravity sink you down. Again, two more. We rotate. We lift so much more that you can just lift this arm up. It's like not really supporting you. Exactly. And place it down gently. Rotate very gently. And then bring it back. Last one. And we rotate. I'm going to try to make this feel good for you. Lift, lift, lift. You know what? Take the home. Take it off. Balance. Three. Ah, that's it. Two. One. Take it back. And rotate with grace. And then foot down, come up. Mermaid. Well done, everybody. Gorgeous. Arms out to the back leg. Side bend. That's it. And bring it up. Lean away. Lean, 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 lean. Place a hand down. And we rotate arm across the floor. And rotate back, face me. Now this time, we're going to do thread a needle here. Rotate to the side, arms to the side and stay. And then bring the arm underneath the armpit and rotate to the back wall. And release that arms up to the side. Rotate back, face me. And come on up. Rotate to the back leg. Place a hand down. Lift the pelvis up. Push up for our little thigh stretch. And enjoy that. Just drop the chest, drop the head back. Push the chest up. Stay there for three, two, one. And we take it down. Gorgeous. Legs over to the other side. We've got the second side to go. I hope I remember the sequence. If I don't, just give me a big shout. <laughs> Sometimes I just tweak the choreography around and then I forget what's coming. Um, what are we doing? Oh yeah, there we go. See, already forgotten. <laughs> so, lifting up, center, take the top leg up, and let's go. Exhale, in breath, and inhale. Use this hand to reach and lengthen the crown of the head away, and in breath, and inhale. Two more sets. Inhale. Last. Inhale. Stay back. The top hand will go down. All right. Adjust your forearm down, Jocelyn. Thank you. We rotate our body towards the floor. We're going to do that magic trick. We're going to lift. And we lower. And then we lift. And we lower. Keep the Pilates core on to push up. Do not let that Pilates core release as you lower. Keep it on. Keep it engaged. And lift. And lower. Two more. And lift. And lower. Top leg behind you. Last one. Lift. And lower. We stay. Reach the top arm away. Derriere, arabesque lift. Out for six, five, four, three, two, one. And bring it in, bring it in. And then we fold the feet in or fold the knees for our teaser prep. Did I miss anything? No, I think we're good. We're going to rotate. We're going to lift and balance. That's it. Yeah, you can take your hands off and then rotate back. And then bring it back. I'm going to come a little bit more forward. And then we're going to rotate and go to your teaser prep. Beautiful. And then we're going to bring it back. 
and balance. And if you wish to, you can float the back arm. We're going to rotate. And if you wish to, you can do that. To your teaser prep position. And then place it down and bring it back two more times. And then rotate. And we can balance. This is definitely the next progression. And then we bring it down and back towards me. Last one. And rotate and we balance. Just give it a little bit of extra spiciness. Stretch the legs and stretch your arm. Hold it up for five, four, three, two, one. We bend the knee, we take the hand back and we rotate and come up to your mermaid. Ah, look at that. We just found a new pathway to expand and progress the movement to something else. As a team, let's go to the back leg, side, side bend. Stay longer, I don't want to see you collapsing down to the floor. Resist and lengthen out. Ah, moi, moi, moi. And then bring it up. And then lean away. What did we do? Did we do this? No, we do this. <laughs> did we do this? I think we did this. See, I forgot already. And then we open and out. And then we do three and a needle after. And then we go side. And then we go underneath. And we go across to the back wall. And then we go back again to the side. And we rotate back and we lift up. And then we rotate to the back leg, place a hand down, and thigh stretch ourselves up, and we stay in the stretch. We can drop the head a little bit, and we stay here for five, four, just keep breathing in, three, two, one, and we come back and sit back. Excellent. Stretch your legs, stretch your legs, come right down and to our single leg kick here. All right, now really open the elbows out. Expand the chest here. Now I want you to have the lower abs active, all right? And float the leg off the floor without sinking into the lower abs here. And then let's go, right leg, left, and in breath, and in breath, and Two more sets. Last set. Extend the legs away, reach it up long. Lower the chest, stretch your arms forward. Reach long, reach long, reach long. Right arm, left leg, lifting. Left arm, right leg, lifting. Let's do five sets of swimming, we inhale. We exhale, inhale, make sure you calm your, make sure you move the legs and the arms from the shoulders and the hip joint. Not wobbling too much in your center. Straighten the knees. Remember, Shalina, we're gonna think about hip extension, not so much on the knees. Last one. Ah, Shalina, beautiful. And we hold and we lower. We bring the forearm to the side of the body. We put it off the floor and we curl the tail down to the heels and we keep the arms active. We're almost there. Take a knee and breath. Exhale. I want you to tuck the toes under and then pike ourselves up to our up stretch. Right. So just adjust yourself to your up stretch position. All right, head between the arms, pressing the floor away, sending the pelvis long, lower the heels down. Now, guys, this movement's got a little bit creative, I think, so I hope you don't get lost with me. Now from here, sending the pelvis long, I want you to take your left leg <clears throat> up to an arabesque, which means it's just lifting off. Exactly, parallel, 
right? And I want you to bend, lower the legs and bend the knees and go into a plank position, like so. Rounding the back a little bit, cross that leg across to the right side, outside of the right leg, and then you take the right arm up into a little star side plank. And then you bring the hand back. We take the left foot back to a plank position. Front support, lower your bottom. And then pike up. All right, we got it. All right. And then we lower the heels down. And then we lift the other leg up into the arabesque. And then we lower and bend the knee and take it into a plank. We bring the leg across and then open the left arm into a little side plank. You're going to be away from it. Oh, yeah, we got this. And then left arm go down to the floor next to the right. And then bring your leg to your front support position, lower the bottom. And let's do it again. Pike up. Lower the heels, enjoy that stretch. And then we got left leg up. And then we bring the knee in into a front support position across the body and open, extend the right arm up to the sky. And then we bring the right end down next to the left. And then we bring the leg back to the plank position and we pike up. That's it. And we lower the heels, enjoy that stretch. And then with the other leg comes up to the arabesque. And then we bring the knees in into your front support. And across, outside, open the arms, expand the chest. Beautiful, Laura. Yeah, oh, <laughs> I should have called your name and bring it down. <laughs> I'm sorry, I call your name. And then we go into your plank and then pike up, and we stay here, lower the heels, extend the back, strong arm, and then from here, I want you to walk your feet to your hands, walk them, walk them, walk them, go to the parallel position, just look down and sneak peek onto your feet, make sure the heels are aligned with the sitting bone, and just relax the body down. Hands on the elbows, and just this time, you can allow the gravity to take the weight of your body, the spine at least, not the whole body. Strong legs, the weight of the spine down to the floor. And just breathing in here. Exhale. Allow the back to lengthen down. And then try to just let go whatever tension you have in your spine here. Use your breath. Try not to fight it. Exhale, maybe you need to bend the knees a little bit more and do what is suitable for you today, but do what your body wants to do to support this in breath. And exhale. And then we're gonna let the hands go. We're going to soften the knees and we're gonna roll up gradually. And with a lot of conscious here. Thinking about how the spinal column should start sticking up one after another. And then we find ourselves nice and tall. It's just a moment to get our blood back into our body, out of the head. In breath. One more roll down. Crown of the head, wilting down. Support your center. And I'm trying to always think about like I'm going over a big ball. I'm going over a wave as I go down. And then bend the knees if you need to, or keep it like straight. And exhale, we roll back up again, curling the tailbone under, so we can bring the pelvis to a vertical alignment, and then the lumbar spine can stack on top of it, the thoracic, the cervical, which is your upper back and your neck, and then upright tall. Long inhalation with me, everybody. Exhale. Inhaling positive energy. Exhaling. And ground yourself down. Wow. Thank you so much for moving with me. Again, I'm sorry. I'm always. Well done on completing this class. You're a star. 
I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to love, look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free 6 day intermediate challenge. Click the first link in the comments and join us in getting fit, strong and feel energized with a calendar of new intermediate Pilates videos. This 6 day challenge is taken from my 28 days intermediate Pilates program. If you would like to join the full 28 days, you'll find a link to my Flow with Mirror online membership in the description. See you in the next class.